Have you ever been persuaded through that argument, through this defend and attack spiral, have you ever been persuaded that suddenly you think, because the other person has shouted at me a lot, that they were right and I was wrong? No. It's great fun to get involved in an argument, isn't it? A screaming, shouting argument and door slamming. But it doesn't actually persuade the other side, does it? And this is what average negotiators do. They defend and attack. They have arguments. This is as far as we're going to go. Well, we want to do this. Well, you can't. Well, you've got to do that. Well, we're not going to. Well, why not? This is just stupid. Well, we walk away. You walk away. You always walk away. International negotiations, that's what happens. They're no better than you and me when we're having arguments at home. They're no better than that. You think they've been well trained. They don't. This is what they get caught. This is what's going on now. If you just sat down and quieten them all down, quieten the situation down. Oh, never say, calm down, by the way. Say, anybody calm down, then you make some shout louder, believe me. Right? Calm down, calm down. Yeah, right, fine, here we go. Now we're off. That's the weekend ruined, you know. <laughs> right? But this is what happens in international negotiations. Right now, somewhere in the world, somebody is sitting around a table with the Syrians or the Iranians having one of these arguments. And they're not going to get anywhere. Great fun to be involved in, absolutely useless as a means of persuading somebody.